Now, when I'm discussing the issue of full metrication, I'm often challenged with the question, what about the old folk? What about the elderly people in our society? And I know the people that ask this question are asking out of a genuine concern. In fact, I used to ask this question myself. But you know, things have changed in the last 40 years. Sure, way back in the early 70s, when we had a good go at going metric, but somehow didn't quite make it, there were people in their 70s and early 80s who'd never actually used any metric units whatsoever. And it certainly was unfair to expect them to suddenly change over. Now, 40 years later, those people have passed on and we have a new generation of elderly people, the old folk, as they're sometimes called. But if you stop and think for a moment, there are a couple of issues here, aren't there? The first one is that about 20, 25 years ago, these people that are now the old folk, and let's be careful here because I'm almost one myself, they were the people that were running the country. They were the shopkeepers, they were the teachers, they were the architects, the builders, the plumbers. They were the people that were making uh, dresses and uh, coats and all sorts of things in society. They were the bus drivers. Those were the people that are actually dealing with metric units almost all the time. They have become adults or become elderly in a metric age. So really, if you think about it, it's quite insulting to expect them not to be able to say, well, look, that's a metre and that's a kilogram. What is so difficult about that? And the other issue that's related to that is that elderly people in every other country in the world, and again, I'm excluding America, of course, but in every other country in the world, these elderly people use metric units every day of the week. Are we really saying that our elderly people are so stupid that they can't understand these very simple concepts, even though they've been dealing with them for all of these years. Sorry, I just don't buy that argument anymore. So although people are genuinely asking this question, if we stop and think for a few minutes, it's an irrelevant question. And the other danger with it is, is if we let this continue, if we excuse, if you like, elderly people from using metric units, what's going to happen is the next generation coming up, there'll be a large number of those people who want to bury their head in the sand perhaps and not actually, uh, not actually learn metric units. And so we'll have to say then, won't we, well, what about the elderly people now? And this will just go on ad infinitum. We really need to put a stop to this right now and say the elderly people of today by and large are quite capable of understanding metric units because they've been doing it for the last 30, 40 years. Now, I'm a pragmatist and I know that despite what I've just said, there will be a few elderly people, a few old folk, who've dug their heels in over the years and have had absolutely refused to have anything at all to do with metric units. But to be honest, there aren't that many of them. And we can ask the question now, which is more important? Their welfare, the people that have refused to have anything to do with this at all, or the welfare of the 700,000 youngsters that leave school and college every year and go out into the outside world. These are the people that are going to be the future scientists, mathematicians, shopkeepers, business owners, architects, plumbers and so on. Which is more important? Well, to me, the answer is obvious, isn't it? We have to do this for our children. I keep saying this all the way through, and I know I'm standing on my high horse here, on my soapbox as it were, but really it's a point that needs getting over. We really can't use this excuse anymore. What about the elderly? We have to think about the youngsters.